Hey guys, and welcome back to Bed About Skin. In today's video, we are celebrating all that's amazing in anti-aging skincare at the drugstore. The cost of everything is going up, up and up at the moment. I'm here to tell you, you don't need to overpay to get those wonderful anti-aging benefits into your skincare routine. All of these products cost less than $15 or £10, and yet will deliver the same great benefits when it comes to minimizing fine lines and wrinkles, returning firmness and elasticity to the skin than any bougie and luxury counterpart could. So sit back, relax, let's talk the best drugstore anti-aging skincare. Now, before we get into this video, I would love to know any other products that you would throw into the mix. What are like your drugstore holy grails and staples? Sound off in the comments section below. I want to try so much more drugstore skincare in 2023, and your recommendations really do shape the products I try and review here on the channel. Before we get into the video proper, just that quick usual plea to say, if you haven't already, if you could reach down and give this video a big thumbs up and a like. I want us to get that message out there loud and clear that the drugstore is where it's at when it comes to affordable, yet high quality skincare, and hopefully all these products will prove it. The best way of helping me to do that is by liking the video, because the more likes the video gets, the more widely YouTube will distribute it on its platform. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so, so much. Now, without further ado, shall we cut that waffle and delve straight on in? So kicking things off with cleansers, and I want to just give a little shout out to this product. This is the Simple Glow Facial Wash. Now, I've been a little bit harsh on simple over the years and saying, well, it was a little simple was almost like a byword for boring. And honestly, I think that's a little bit unkind. Whilst the packaging isn't that exciting with this brand, and I think some of the formulations are a little on the basic side, actually, there are some true hidden gems amongst the collections, and I think this is one of them. I've always been very skeptical about vitamin C cleansers. How effective can they be if they're only on the skin for like 15 seconds, 30 seconds tops? Well, actually, this one, I think, disproves that. If you use this consistently in your skincare routine, alongside some other great brightening ingredients, you definitely do see that luminosity boost to the skin. It's not going to change things overnight on its own, but I definitely think in combination with the rest of the products I mentioned today, this is a really great drugstore find. It doesn't strip. It doesn't dry. Vegan, cruelty-free. It takes so, so many boxes and simple are a really great drugstore yet affordable skincare brand. Another like drugstore staple that you probably see on the shelves an awful lot but might have just walked past is e.l.f. I think they're better known for their makeup than they are for their skincare and I think that's a real shame because there are some really really great products in the e.l.f. collection. I think the Holy Hydration Moisturizer absolutely stunning but I also always reach for this. This is the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Cleanser. It's like the opposite ends of the skincare routine. e.l.f. kind of has you covered. This is beautiful. It feels quite luxurious when you work it into the skin. You get a really nice light but gentle lather. that's nothing that's going to strip or dry the skin. And of all the drugstore cleansers I've tried, I'd say this is probably one of the few that is like a one and done. You don't need a double cleanse, you can use this and it really does shift even quite stubborn waterproof makeup. A really, really nice product that I would definitely, definitely recommend if you want to do effective cleansing on a budget. For those of you that do want to go down that double cleanse route, you don't need to overpay for a really effective cleansing balm. Often the oils used in cleansing balms can push the price up a little bit, but I think brands capitalize and take advantage of that, charging like $50, $60 for their cleansing balm. I think one of the best that I've ever tried is this. This is the Juno Skin Clean 10 Cleansing Balm. This has been a viral sensation online for like two or three years and totally, totally worth the hype. It is beautiful. Goes on as a really thick balm, but then instantly transforms into a and oil shifts everything. Waterproof makeup, multiple layers of water resistant SPF gone in a flash. And it doesn't leave a film on the skin like some other cleansing balms can do, which is a big tick in the box for me. This is beautiful and it's lightly fragranced, which I personally really enjoy. It's kind of quite summery. It's a pick me up, which I think sometimes we do need in our lives. This is a beautiful, beautiful drugstore and affordable cleansing balm. Now let's segue seamlessly on to toners. And I've got three holy grails to share with you here. I've been fangirling about this one a lot recently. This is a Q&A Skin Marine Hyaluronate Toner. This plumps your skin like no other product I've ever tried. If you want that, that glass skin instant fix, just use this. One layer, let it sink in, then apply another layer on top, your skin will be juicy, it'll be plump, it'll have that nice glow, that radiance from within look to it, and it definitely gets on top of any dehydration or dryness that you have in your skin. It is so, so good. And if you want to see like my reasons why I think this is possibly one of the best products I've tried in the last couple of years, I'll leave a link to a video I did up there. 
definitely want to check out for eight pounds you cannot go wrong with this and a little does genuinely go a long way so for some added hydration a little bounce a little dewiness to the skin the drugstore has you covered with q a skin i don't think any drugstore video would be complete without mention of geek and gorgeous one of my favorite affordable skincare brands and this is an oldie but a goodie i've been using this for like three years and i still love it as much today as i did back then this is the geek and gorgeous liquid hydration beautiful amino acid packed which is going to just go into the skin plump everything out and really hydrate and nourish if you can't get your hands on the q a skin one that i just mentioned this is a really good alternative i find that you have to be a little bit more patient with this use it consistently and you get some great long-term benefits in terms of boosting the skin's hydration and um, i think the q a one gives more immediate impact so it depends what you want as to which product you reach for but both cruelty free and stunning stunning additions to a drugstore skincare routine and then finally, let's call out this one. This, I love the colour of it. I love the packaging. This was singing to me when I saw it on the drugstore shelf. This is the Revolution Skin Sally Hughes collection. Um, Sally Hughes is like a beauty editor. She's been in the industry for years and has created a really good line in collaboration with Revolution Skin. This for me is the standout. It's an exfoliator, but also has some hydrators too. So in here, you've got five different acids. You've got some glycolic acid, some malic acid, some lactic acid, tranexamic acid, and hyaluronic acid to lightly exfoliate in a really gentle way, hydrate, plump out the skin. This is like a really nice skin treat after you've cleansed. Put a little bit of this onto the palms of your hand and dab it and press it into the skin. Leave it like two minutes and your skin will be juicy, it'll be smoother, and it definitely over time will help fade any hyperpigmentation. This I'm definitely a fan of. Now one of the biggest questions in anti-aging skincare is do you need an eye cream? In truth, no. If you really want to streamline and cut the cost, you don't need a separate eye cream. But if you shop one with a purpose, it can give some additional benefit to your skincare routine. And the three that I would recommend at the drugstore are these three. This is the Revolution Skincare Pigmentation Intense Pigmentation Correcting Eye Cream. The longest product title of any one that I'm going to mention today, but genuinely delivers. Um, I love this because it's got that rich banana colour, which will instantly help, you know, as a bit of colour correction to fade any discoloration. But in the long term, it really deeply nourishes and hydrates. I find a pot like this, I'm almost out of this one, will last like three months. So a little does go a long way because you need to be quite sparing with this. Don't overuse it. But honestly, you will get some really, really good results in the short term and in the long term, which kind of satisfies my quick win aims. I also love this, the OkiWake Eye Cream from Face Theory. If you're prone to melia, those little white bumps under the eye, which always seem to become more prevalent as we age, don't worry about it. Just get a little of this in your life. A, it'll help to tackle the melia that already exists by gently exfoliating them. But in the long term, it'll act as a preventative measure too. So if the melia are your number one skin concern, get some of this in your life. I find that one tube, again, lasts two or three months, super affordable yet hyper effective. It's got some really nice fermented ingredients in here to plump out the under eye so you get some anti-aging benefits but also some preventative action targeting those melia specifically this an absolute holy grail and finally i want to end with the eye cream which is the cheapest of any of the products mentioned today the face facts ceramide replenishing eye cream if you're currently shopping cerave and enjoy the cerave eye cream actually swap to this this is one pound 79 versus like 12 or 13 pounds for the cerave one you get a higher concentration of ceramides and you actually get more overall ceramides in this too it's an absolutely wonderful dupe that i think takes it to the next level if hydration in your anti-aging skin routine is your number one concern this is the eye cream that I'd reach for. Now let's talk vitamin C's. I realise that this is a bit of a whistle-stop tour, but what I wanted to do was give you guys a flavour of each step that's essentially an anti-aging skincare routine and some of the drugstore options within it. The reason I think that vitamin C's are key is over time we accumulate sun damage and sun-related hyperpigmentation. So this tends to be more exacerbated the older we happen to be. And actually the number one skin concern people reported in their 40s, 50s and 60s wasn't fine lines and wrinkles, it was discoloration and hyperpigmentation. Vitamin C is one of the very best ways of tackling that because it'll reduce the amount of excess pigment being produced and help to eradicate the accumulated pigment that little bit quicker. It gives that radiance boost, that luminosity that we all crave. Now vitamin C's can be a little on the pricey side but I've got three really affordable options for you here. Kicking things off with this, if you want to go for a pure form ascorbic acid, I don't think you can go wrong with the ordinary ascorbic acid 8%, alpha arbutin 2%. The reason this is a holy grail is you get a really 
really nice mid-strength ascorbic acid here. Not too much dryness and sensitivity, but relatively quick results. They then dial that up by a 2% concentration of alpha albutin, which is one of the best over-the-counter pigment correctors. This is a little powerhouse, and I really hope that this starts to get more hype in the next year, because I think if hyperpigmentation is your number one concern, use this. Not only will you get less irritation than a higher strength vitamin C, but you'll actually get better benefits and outcomes because you've got that alpha albutin. If you have a very sensitive skin type or very prone to dryness in the skin, I would actually reach for a vitamin C derivative. And keeping with the ordinary, this is the Ascorbyl Tetro Isopalmitate Solution 20% in vitamin F. I love this because you've got some hydrators in here, you've got some antioxidants, you've got that vitamin C derivative. And whilst with derivatives, you have to have a little patience. You know, invest now for those long-term payoffs because they take a little longer to see the results. Honestly, it's worth it because this product will give you practically zero irritation and deliver you some really great, glow up enhancing benefits in the long term all at beautifully drugstore price point. Now finally for vitamin C's, if you live here in the UK, in Ireland, in Thailand, anywhere you can get to a boot store, try this. This is the Boots Vitamin C Brightening Moisturizing Cream. This is so good. If you want a moisturizer and a vitamin C all in one, streamline things down so you're not buying two products, just get this. I think I paid like £2.99 for it and it has a beautiful, gorgeous texture to it. A really good concentration of vitamin C that's going to give you relatively quick results, but it's so hydrating as well. It's got just a touch of fragrance, which I find really nice and uplifting, particularly if you use this on a morning. And this is kind of like a powerhouse vitamin C packed moisturizer that will allow you to do like a two in one approach to your vitamin C, give you that hydration and that glow up all at the same time. Now, what good anti-aging skincare routine would be complete without the addition of a retinoid? Retinoids are amazing. They're a family of vitamin A derivatives that boost cellular turnover, increase the rate of collagen and elastin production, and I think are like a true holy grail must have in a good anti-aging skincare routine. Unfortunately, the good ones tend to come with a higher price point, but I've got two drugstore recommendations that honestly will transform your approach to retinoids in your routine. Let's kick things off with this. This is the Geek and Gorgeous A Game 10. They do a lower strength A Game 5 if you're new to this ingredient. I would probably start with 5 and work your way up, but this is hands down the most potent retinal that you'll get over the counter at a drugstore price. If you think to like the Medicaid crystal retinal, which is wonderful, that costs like $100 for the equivalent of this that you can get for $16. So for price point, this won't be beaten. And I prefer retinal over retinol because you get quicker results and less risk of irritation. If you read any of the studies, I think this is the direction that retinoids are going to be going in. So definitely look out for a little retinal action in your skincare routine. If you do want to reach for Geek and Gorgeous, I would definitely recommend the e.l.f. anti-aging retinal serum. This only launched like a month ago but is already one of their best sellers and for good reason. You get that really nice retinal concentration in here and again at a really nice drugstore price point. Not quite as cheap as the Geek and Gorgeous but really effective and in both of these you only need a tiny amount to get those benefits so it really is an investment and you don't need to overpay to get a little retinal action in your skincare routine. Now we're coming towards the end of the video but I do want to give a special shout out to antioxidants and antioxidants, antioxidants. Say it with me because I think these are the true unsung hero in a really effective anti-aging skincare routine. If you have a good broad spectrum sunscreen, that'll protect you from UVA and UVB wavelengths of light. However, there are other things that hit our skin and stress it out. Free radicals such as pollution, particulate matter and other wavelengths of light trigger oxidative stress which can lead to excess hyperpigmentation and can also break down collagen and elastin, leading to an exacerbation of fine lines and wrinkles, all the things we don't want in our skin. So I think an antioxidant alongside your sunscreen is like a non-negotiable and I would definitely recommend if you're looking to elevate your anti-aging routine this is the route I'd go down. I've got two that I want to call out. This is the ordinary pycnogenol super affordable but very specific in its mechanism of action. It actually binds to the collagen in our skin and protects it. So if fine lines and wrinkles are your primary concern, this could be a wonderful antioxidant to incorporate. It's also in a really hydrating base so it works well alongside your moisturizer, your sunscreen, to just double down on the hydration levels in the skin. If you want something that's truly comprehensive, because there are lots of different antioxidants out there and they're not all created equal. So if you want something that combines multiple different ones, I actually created my own product which is this, the Mad About Skin All Day Protection Antioxidant Cream. Creamy and nourishing, super hydrating on the skin, but it actually incorporates multiple different antioxidants, including pycnogenol that I just mentioned, to kind of give you a fully comprehensive protection product. The reason I created this was out of frustration of not being able to get comprehensive antioxidant protection 
at the drugstore at affordable price, which is why I'm so, so pleased to have been able to create this and put my name to it. This is linked in the description box below, as are all the other products mentioned in today's video. Now, obviously your skincare routine would want to finish with a broad spectrum sunscreen, but I want to dedicate a separate video to that. Affordable, high performance sunscreens. So watch out for that in the coming week. So that way you can have a complete end-to-end, -end, anti-aging, yet super drugstore skincare routine. Let me know your thoughts on any of the products mentioned in the comment section below. And wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and love your skin. Take care. Bye.